So, hello. Let's turn the music down a bit. Today, I want to show you step by step on how to use simultaneous cards, which I've done for Blade Runner before um, as a short overview. But this time I'm going to use Forbidden Lands and show how that same module uh, can be used for the uh, card combat in Forbidden Lands. Now, I've never used the card combat, but yeah, there was a question, show the process, and I thought I should not show the same again. So basically, this is the module simultaneous cards, which allows um, players and Foundry to each pick from a selected group of cards uh, secretly, and then the GM can reveal this. And this is really going to be a step by step. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find that module and we have to install it. So um, hopefully this will work, actually. So I bet need to go back to setup. This is my little Raspberry Pi setup here. I go to add on modules, install the module. As I said, a bit slow. Um, then you use key in simultaneous cards. There it is already. Simultaneous combat systems. <laughs> it's different. Don't know what that one is, but Stefush, that's the one you want. You install it. Shouldn't take any time at all. Uh, and then you go back into your game. So my game world for this is my Forbidden Lands version 10 test. So next step you have to do, of course, is you have to enable this module within the game. So I go to Manage Modules. I go down to Simulate Discards. And I save the module settings. Yes. So again, you wait until it refreshes. And this now gives you over here. Let me just shift the background a bit. Over here on the left hand side gives you an extra button called Simultaneous Cards. And if you go to your settings um, under module, you will say the bottom, you'll see it here. You will see basically what it does for you. Um, these are the basic options, but they're not the actual uh, set or deck of cards yet. So let's, let's just do the deck of cards next. So I need to create a deck of cards. And if I need to create one here, you can see I've got initiative, but I'm going to create one, create card stack. I'm going to call it combat cards. Reset configuration. I don't want any. So just as it is, I now get this pop up here. And the thing is that if you have the premium module um, for Forbidden Lands, the core book premium module, the card's already in there. So I don't actually have to scan anything. I don't have to copy and paste something from, from the PDFs or anything like that. So instead, I just go in here and say configuration first. I want all the cards to have the same back image. So the back image I can pick from here. Um, you go up under user data, actually. You go to modules. And I've got lots of stuff in, uh, in here, but the key one I'm looking for is FBL core game. And then you go to assets, combat cards, and then you've got the different cards here. And one of them, you will see, you can also look at uh, the backs here and the pictures here. This one is the back, close combat back, select file. So this is now one uh, image file that gives you the back for every every card. And on here, I can just say deck or card combat. That doesn't really affect anything. Save. So you can now see the icon here has changed to it. And then I can configure the individual cards. So you add a card, and I hope I remember how to do this. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the card, so I'm just going to call it number one. You can see that it's uh, you need to add a face to the card. And I have found that if you just put some a number in, it will actually work better than if you don't. So face image. What image do I want in there? I need to click on here to actually select the file. And the first one is attack. All right. So select. I can actually call that card attack. Now I know the name of it. Save card. You can now see it's a bit small. I appreciate that. Let's see whether I can get slightly bigger picture for you. Um, you can now see that the first card is listed. So I do the same with the second one. Yeah, this is going to be slightly repetitive. Um, you can skip ahead a little if you like. So the second card, I should have remembered the name. I don't, can't remember it. I go back at a face, call it two for now. Face image, it is a weight. So I'll wait. Yeah, you can put the face name in. I don't exactly remember what it does. I think it shows it next to the 
card in the chat later. Oh wait, the next one. You guys have to remind me to remember the next card. You still didn't. Okay, three. Um, add a face. Got a three face name. So it's defend, and then after that is double up. Let's remember that. So defend. Defend. And I think this. Yeah, there you go. Showing that. The next one was double up, wasn't it? So, double. No, not like that. Double up. Create new card. I go to card faces. I add a new face. Um, under face, you can't actually add a um, a word. Yeah, so, if I type on my letters here, nothing happens. It seems to have to be a number. So, face image. Double up. Next one will be hinder. So, safeguard. Next one, hinder. So, that's my fifth card, I think. Hinder there. And I hope I'm being consistent in what I do. The next one is going to be maneuver and then prepare. So, maneuver and this spelling, I normally would spell it differently. That's what it card says. So, that was number one, two, three, four, five, six. See, I didn't actually fully configure that one, did I? Hinder. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Confusing myself now. So, and the next one was... Forgot it already. Uh, prepare. Prepare, I think. So, plus another one. Prepare. Cut faces. This one was six, I think. Hopefully. And repair. So. so that should give me the cards. Ah. Save. I now have a choice of one, two, three, four, five, six cards in the deck. Right, so I have the deck, and if you ever want to get back to it, you can just click on combat cards and it pops up. Now, you could just draw random cards, but that's not the idea. We want to use this module. So, okay. Now, I basically have selected these two. There's two more characters on the uh, on the canvas. And I locked on a second player, unless he's timed out here. Yeah, he has timed out because of the... Um, my refreshes. So, let me just lock that one back in. Player two. There he is. Push that off. Oh, let me do this again. Click on here. I want combat cards. And now you can see that, for example, this character here is going to be owned by player two. Let's do it this way. And they are the ones I want to draw the cards. So what happens now? I press on start. As the um, GM here, I basically draw a card for the Iron Guard. Let's assume this is a, uh, a duel between these two. So I then go and pop on that, and you can see, and click on that, you can see that the cards all pop up. I can see that, the other player can't see that. So I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to hinder. Right. Now I'm just going to bring my, my player window over. You can see that the chosen card for the GM is now the back of the card. And me as a player with a very catchy name, I can, I can select my card. Now neither player knows what the other person chose. And then it says ready to validate. I go back to my GM screen. I validate the choices. And then if I click on reveal all, they will be posted to the chat. So I now know what the um, what the outcome is. Now the card looks a bit squashed here. Um, and actually in Blade Runner, what happens is that the, they pop up properly. And so they actually get bigger when you hover over them. That doesn't really help me, but at least I can see the options. So still a little bit of UI tweaking. Remember that this Forbidden Lands module is actually, the core module is actually still on version 9. I understand version 10 is now with 3 League. Uh, so that might have something to do with that. But that's how this system works. So what did we do? Download the module, configure the deck you need, um, go through the settings on the um, simultaneous cards, highlight the tokens or on the canvas, it will just give you the list anyway. Um, select the deck, 
and pick your cards. And that basically is it. That's the workflow. I think it works quite nicely. Um, I hope that my steps in the in the setup were decent in the explanation. If you like this, let me know. If you want to know more, post a question underneath it. But I hope this helps you to improve your game um, with cards, with selectable cards, secret selections, be it for Blade Runner, be it for Forbidden Lands or for something entirely different. Anyway, take care, everybody. and I'll see you next time.